Okay, I cannot believe I'm doing another one of these Fire Emblem soundtrack reaction videos today. So, here we are. I'm a Fire Emblem Three Houses player only. I'm new to the whole franchise, um, but I feel that there are a lot of soundtracks that are that um, you know people are reacting to that are much more better than the stuff that has come out from uh, the Three Houses game even though obviously you know like you know there's there's new game uh mechanics and new soundtrack new you know quality overall in terms of the audio output uh i just you know there i'm really curious as to what the uh, the rest of the franchise uh going back a step has to offer so before we begin, uh, begin jumping into that first uh quick introduction and a quick promo so Again, my name is JXFu. I do reaction videos and other discussion videos on YouTube about pretty much writing, light novels, career. I'm a product manager day to day, but I also love writing. Uh, so I'm a fiction slash fantasy slash romance light novel writer during the nighttime. So I'm a published author coming, well, soon to be published author coming this fall. Um, so do check out my campaign and the link in the description below. That's where you can find everything regarding my upcoming book this fall titled Darkness Me Colorful You. It's a romance and fantasy book. It's going to be super hype, really cool. Please do check it out. Um, okay, marketing stuff aside, let's get into this pretty much. So I actually have no soundtrack that I have in my mind that I'm going to react to. I did not do research. I just pulled this up and I decided to do this. So what I'm literally going to do is I'm going to pull up a new tab and search up Best Fire Emblem soundtracks of all time. And I'm just going to look at a Reddit post. Let's say Best Fire Emblem soundtracks of all time, Reddit. I'm looking at currently, so a lot of good music apparently is coming from the Fate series. And I've yet to play the Fate series, obviously, and I'm, I'm only playing Three Houses. Okay, I'm literally looking at a forum discussion post and game is FAQ, gamefaqs.gamespot.com. Thorn in You seems to be really popular. Yeah, there, there you go. We have some pretty good songs. So Thorn in You, there's a Thorn in You and the Thor, Thorn in You Roar. So I'm just going to listen to the original without the bracket roar. So here we go. We got the Sony high, high quality Sony headphones. So I'm going to take in as much as I can, give you my commentary, compare this to the stuff that I'm listening to from Three Houses. Again, my favorite Three Houses soundtracks is probably... In no particular order, Apex of the World because of it's an emotional aspect and it's a really emotional motif and the game is obviously, you know, the final battle is emotional. And then God Shattering Star. Yeah, uh, let's go straight into it. So something's building up here. This is very suspenseful slash... I thought it had some sort of a sad feeling to it at first. I think I hear like a xylophone in the back. combination of soothing slash something seems to be building up. Although I can't imagine myself what I would be doing in this game while listening to this music. Like where the character would be. I don't think this... is this a battle soundtrack? It's a very different, unique one. That's for sure. piano tone. I love the piano by the way. A lot of this melody I'm hearing seems to be driven in the background. The piano seems to be like the backbone. I can't 
tell if that's a symphony or is that those are strings. But it's going really well with this oh, piano. Very emotional. I can tell that for sure. The motif playing in the piano make by itself makes it emotional. With or without that solo. I love the piano volume. It's perfectly conspicuous to hear, with or without good headphones properly. very emotional like something very emotional slash sad I would say kind of not and completely sad because I think there's other kind of you know more level-headed things going on Ooh, that's a nice transition but I, I was gonna say it reflects kind of the name of this song really well throwing in you like something bad is within you, sort of thing, or you're getting, I'm, I'm pretty sure not the literal meaning, you're getting stabbed. But... Like there's some, uh, the thorn, there's something bad within you. Ooh, that's another good reaction, oh sorry, not a reaction, <laughs> good transition. I love the piano transitions. out yeah that's how it ends okay that wasn't what I expected to be honest but I should have probably saw that somewhat coming because of the name of the song thrown in you right off the top of my head very emotional soundtrack I really am interested to experience the whole thing though like the full experience if I kind of call it where the soundtrack is playing as well as whatever game scene might in that this soundtrack is playing for. I really want to experience that. I feel that the the highest emotions come and perhaps that's what also backs this song to be such a really nice masterpiece is because of where it's played probably in the in the in the game. So I'm really curious. Uh, I feel like I didn't really get the full experience there. But from just a music standpoint, um, I thought it was really nice. I love the piano. I felt that the piano had a perfect amount of, you know, amplitude. Great emotional melody being played throughout. Had a lot of changes in rhythm, I think, but it... I really didn't think that anything made it, like, you know, like there's a twist or anything that made it sound bad. It just 
it just played really well consistently no matter what the melody was throughout the whole soundtrack so i really like that i think those are symphon uh symphonizers um throughout the the song too uh and either those are real strings i'm not too sure but as you know i'm not exactly the biggest music expert but um I mean, I do play guitar. <laughs> you kind of see the guitar there, but you know, not the biggest music expert per se, and from a composer standpoint, so I couldn't tell what those were. But th those were really nice. The strings slash symphonizers along with the piano, um, kind of emphasizing on the various motifs played throughout the song, as well as just doing the transition back and forth between the piano solo and then the symphonizers kind of adding in as well, um, really slowly but very good speed. So. Anyways, away from the actual music stuff, I'm more towards this game. I'm very interested in playing Fates. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, like the game backlog is pretty big in terms of Fire Emblem. I still have yet to finish all three routes in three houses. I know what happens. I've spoiled it for myself. I have maybe about 150-ish hours logged. So I still need to play all the other Fates, uh, sorry, all the other Fire Emblem series. So I am playing Awakening right now on the 3DS. I still need to play Fates, um, there is still a lot of games, I need to play Shadows of Valentia, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So anyways, I have a lot of time to I guess to make these reaction videos from just the three houses player perspective, but yeah, I I think I want to conclude this here. It, this was an amazing soundtrack, very emotional, I don't think I could ever have heard something like this in three houses. Um, I wish three houses had something maybe similar to this, but this is a very emotional soundtrack. Very beautifully played, really nice melody, um, various different series of melodies too. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it uh, for me today. So thanks again for coming to my YouTube channel for another reaction video. Subscribe, like, uh, comment, share your thoughts and opinions on what the soundtrack is all about. I'm more than happy to converse with everyone in the comments. Um, and yeah, again, don't forget to check out my upcoming light novel in the, the description below. Um, you'll see all the timestamps in my social media accounts there too, so be, be sure to follow me on all of those, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.